Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Teacher Masaho, and today I'm going to show you how to solve nonlinear simultaneous equations. So, if you want to learn that, tune in. plus 1 and y equals to x squared plus 3x minus 2 okay let's call this one equation 1 and this one equation 2 okay so the first step you can see that this one is a quadratic equation and this one is just a linear okay we're going to substitute substitute equation 1 into equation 2 okay so this we said is y this is y so when you see y here you just use x plus 1 right so we're going to have x plus 1 replacing y is equals to x squared plus 3x minus 2 now we are left with x's we don't have y we can now collect like terms. We're going to have 0 is equals to x squared plus 3x minus x. It was positive this side. When it comes this side, it's negative, right? Minus 2 minus 1. Okay, so this is going to be 0 is equals to x squared 3x minus x is 2x negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 okay now we are going to solve this you can use factorizing method or quadratic formula okay i'm going to use the factorizing method product product we have negative 3 and sum we have 2 okay I'm going to look for two numbers. When I multiply them, they're supposed to give me negative 3. When I add or subtract them, they're supposed to give me 2. Okay? So, we have 3 factors of 3. We have 1, 3. Okay? We have 1 and 3. So, we're just going to play around with 1 and 3 so that they can give us 2. You can get 2 if we say 3 minus 1. That's when you can get 2. So, 3 is positive and 1 is negative because 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2 okay so we have 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 we have 3 and negative 1 we can say 0 equals to x squared instead of us writing 2x we're going to use 3 x minus x minus 3 okay we factorize between these two the common factor is x so x x plus 3 common factor between these two is negative 1 negative 1 x plus 3 the ones outside the bracket we put them in one bracket and this one that the same x plus 3 we create the first bracket to 0 and the second bracket to 0 x minus 1 equals to 0 x plus 3 equals to 0 x is 1 x is negative 3 okay since the coefficient of x squared is just 1 after this step we can just say x plus 3 x minus 1 if the coefficient of x squared is 1 that's where you can just use this 2 right plus 3 this side minus 1 this side okay if it's not you use the long method to factorize okay now we managed to find our x's we're supposed to look for our y when x equals to 1 what is our y so we're going to have y 
you substitute in equation one, y equals to one plus one. So y is two when x is one. Y equals to negative three plus one. So our y is negative two. Okay. So final answer x y x y this x we have one is corresponding with this y which is two this x we have negative three and y is negative two okay now let's get to number two number two we have y equals to six minus x as equation one and x squared plus y squared equals to 20 as equation two okay we're going to solve for x and y right so the first step the first step we are going to substitute equation one into equation two right when you see y in equation two we just take six minus x and substitute because we say this is y okay so we're going to have x squared plus 6 minus x, which is y, square equals to 20, right? After that, we expand this. This is not 6 squared minus x squared. We're supposed to expand this. So we're going to have x squared plus, this is 6 minus x, 6 minus x okay plus to 20 we're going to have x squared plus 6 times 6 you multiply this term with everything this side this term with everything this side right so 6 times 6 is 36 6 times negative x is negative 6x negative x times 6 is negative 6x negative x times negative x is positive x squared equals to 20 okay after that you collect like times x squared plus x squared is 2x squared you take 20 this side we are going to have 36 minus 20 which is the same as 16 and negative 6x minus 6x is negative 12x equals to 0 right this is a quadratic equation. We can simplify this. We're going to divide by 2 everywhere. We're going to have x squared divided by 2 here minus 6x divided by 2 here plus 8 equals to 0. Okay? So we have x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals to 0. We use the product or sum or the quadratic formula. Two numbers, when you multiply them, they give you 8. And when you add them, they give you negative 6. Okay, we have 8 here. We have 1, 8, 2, 4. All right. So 2 and 4, negative 2, and negative 4 because negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 so those two numbers are negative 2 and negative 4 okay since the coefficient is 1 you can just say x minus 2 times x minus 4 equals to 0 we manage to factorize okay or you can use the long method whereby instead of u you see negative 6x you use negative 2 and negative 4 which is x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8 equals to 0 okay if you factorize this you're going to have something like this after that you create the first bracket to 0 and the second bracket to 0 so we're going to have x minus 2 equals to 0, x minus 4 is equals to 0. 
x is equals to 2, x is equals to 4. Okay? So we're going to look for y. y is equals to 6 minus 2. When x is 2, our y is going to be 4. And when x is 4, our y is going to be 2. Okay? So we're going to have x is equals to x is equals to y is equals to y is equals to so x is 2 y is 4 x is 4 y is 2 okay so we have something like this so that's number two now let's get to number three number three equation one we have y equals to 2x and equation two, we have y squared minus xy equals to a, right? We can see that we have y here, y here. Hmm? You can, you can substitute two x where you see y, right? Like you are going to have two x squared because it's y minus x two x equals to eight. Okay, you can have something like this, or You can make x the subject in equation one, wherever you're going to have x is equals to y over two, and where you see x in equation two, you substitute y over two. So you're going to have something like y squared minus y over two y equals to eight. Okay, you can have something like this and deal with x first, or you can have something like this and deal with y first okay so when we have something like this we are going to have y squared minus y squared over 2 equals to 8 you multiply by 2 both side or you just say 1 minus half 1 minus half we know that is half so we're going to have y squared over 2 equals to 8, right? You multiply by 2 both sides, you're going to have y squared equals to 16. We take the square root of 16 and our y is going to be plus or minus 4, okay? What if you start with x? You're going to have this is 2 squared is 4x squared minus 2x squared equals to 8. You collect like terms, 4x squared minus 2x squared, you're going to have 2x squared equals to 8. You divide by 2, then we have x squared equals to 4. You take the square root of 4. And your x is going to be plus or minus 2, okay? If you have started like this, you are supposed to find your responding. If you have started like this, you are supposed to find your y. You just substitute positive 2 here, negative 2 here, okay? So, we are going to have y, y equals to 2 times positive 2y equals to 2 times negative 2 and then negative 4 positive 4 okay if you have started like this you manage to find your y first you substitute it here you're going to have x is equals to 4 divided by 2 which is equals to 2 x equals to negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2, okay? So, x, x, y, y. So, when x, when x, when x is positive 2, y is 4. When x is negative 2, y is is negative 4 okay so this is how you solve this one
can start like this and finish up you find your x and then you find your y or you can find your y first after you find your y you find your x you just do one method use one method okay now let's get to number four number four equation one we have 2x plus 3y equals to 5. In equation 2, we have 2y squared plus xy equals to 12. So, we are going to make x the subject here and then substitute our x in equation 2. Okay? So, we're going to have 2x equals to 5 minus we take 3y the other side and then divide by 2 both sides. So our x is going to be 5 minus 3y over 2. That's our x. And where we, where we find and where we find x in equation 2, we substitute this. So we're going to have 2y squared plus our x, which is 5 minus 3y over 2. So y equals to 12. Okay. We are going to get rid of this denominator. We multiply by 2 everywhere. We're going to have 4y squared plus, and then we remove brackets, plus 5y minus 3y squared equals to 12 times 2, 24. Right. Remember we multiplied by 2 everywhere. This one cancel this one. Then we have something like this. We're going to collect like terms and we're going to take them for this side. So 4y squared minus 3y squared is y squared plus 5y minus 24 is equal to 0. We are supposed to solve. You can use quadratic formula or product or sum method. Okay, which is the factorizing method. All right, is negative 24. Sum is 5. We're going to look for two numbers. When you multiply them, they give us negative 24. When we add or subtract them, they give us 5. Okay? 5, we have 1, 24. We have 2, 12. We have 3, and 8. We want the one that are going to give us 5. This ones they're out. They are out, so we have 8 and 3. We want to get 5. To get 5, when we have 8 and 3 is when we say 8 minus 3. And when we multiply them, they give you negative 24. So, since the coefficient of y square is 1, we don't need to use the long method. So, we're going to have y plus 8 bracket y minus 3 bracket equals to 0. You create the first bracket to 0 and the second bracket to 0. So, we're going to have y plus 8 equals to 0. y minus 3 equals to 0. We have y equals to negative 8 and y equals to positive 3. After we find our y, we're supposed to find our x. Okay? We're supposed to find our x. Remember, we said x is this. So we're going to substitute. We're going to substitute our negative 8 and our 3. Okay? So we're going to have x is equal to 5 minus 3, 8, negative 8 over 3. The other one, x equals to 5 minus 3, 3 over 2 okay this is going to be 24 29 so we have 29 over 2 as our first x and the other x we're going to have 5 minus 9 divided by 2 which is 4 divided by negative 4 divided by 2 which is negative 2. So, when x is 29 over 2, y is equal to negative 8 
and when x is negative 2, y is equal to 3. Okay, thank you for watching today's lesson. Remember, I was teaching you how to solve non-linear simultaneous equation. Please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to download the worksheet so that you can practice. Take care. Bye-bye.